All right, everybody, let's explore this old mine. Then go three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one, beep, beep. Doesn't it seem like we wait on Randy an awful lot? We're always waiting on Randy. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. It wasn't, it was mixed. It was perfect, you nailed it. I could have done it better. Well, hello everyone and uh, welcome to Abandoned and Forgotten Footage. And I want to thank you guys, all of you, for supporting the channel uh, by liking and sharing and subscribing. It's appreciated and uh, eventually it's going to help out a whole bunch. Thank you kindly. Uh, anyway, we've talked about the Schnozzlator 5000 a bunch in the past, maybe over the last six weeks or so, and I actually went to Oregon and picked up most of the parts. Um, I, most of you don't know, but I was, uh, I've been a welder and an engineer and fabricator for 40 years. And uh, I saw the problem, and what the problem was is that no matter what you use on the edge of a shaft, uh, once you throw your rope across it and you start walking down the side of these mines, uh, chances are you, well, you are going to dislodge stuff as you go. It's just the way that it goes. Um, and if you do hey, dislodge it... what are you doing in here? Hey, Gly. Hey, you got people out here that uh, need autographs. Look, Gly's doing a cameo. <laughs> he, he calls me a prima donna. <laughs> oh, my God. That's rich. He just came in here and ruined the best intro I've ever done. Oh, were you filming? <laughs> what, are you on like the fourth or fifth attempt? Oh, my God. Well, that's, that's normal. Get, get your butt out here when you're done. They're just waiting out here. There goes... It's all right. Don't blow a gasket. I'll see you in a few minutes. He'll be right out. Just, just hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you guys even play? <laughs> oh man. All right. All right, Gly. He told me he was going to do that because of all the times that he thinks that he's done like this perfect intro. And then, uh, uh, I'll walk in and say something or I'll point the camera away at the wrong time or something like that But it's been rare since I've done anything that blatantly uh, Obtrusive well, maybe I can still use some of it at any rate That was glide coolness that just came in and uh, left uh, Mary's sitting over here off camera and Darla's sitting over there. That's our dog uh, anyway, so uh, it, if you have your rope going across the side and you're going down, you are going to um, flat out. You're going to dislodge stuff. And from 50 or 100 feet, uh, a rock, really any size rock, but one that size, 100 feet, it's going to leave a mark for certain. And a couple hundred feet, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, that, that's just a, that's a long ways for a rock to drop before it hits you. Anyway. What I did was I drew a diagram of the Schnozzlator 5000, which I'm going to go over with you right now. What this does is it eliminates having to come across this portion here with your rope. Uh, it also eliminates having to come up with and over with any type of tripod mechanism that you might want to set up. That's feet are going to be relatively close to the uh, to the uh, to the shaft, uh, which generally you have a pile of waste rock here, and uh, that's the stuff that you want to move away and make sure that it's not going to fall down. So, the system I came up with is the 30 foot schnozzle later. 5,000 copyright it's a winch assist ascender with a 20 foot pull with each time that you rotate or each revolution I should say I'm in the future going to use this same board and draw different diagrams of, of, of mines and uh, whether they be a horizontal shaft incline shaft or if it's an at it where you're where you're walking into it they're all basically laid out the same way you've got a shaft and you've got levels where you work off of uh, in this particular little drawing that i have here i've got a couple hundred foot level 
and I've got a sump here that I didn't write sump because it would have taken up the whole bottom. But uh, this is your portal. This is a shaft. This would be the 100 level. Look, these are stoles. That's what this stuff's called that's holding up this stuff that's holding up Better Bob up there. Um, and this is a dead guy. There's a dead guy down in there. That got, anyway, I digress. We hook Better Bob up with 30 feet of 3 inch square tubing. And I have two and a half inch square tubing at each joint, two feet long. And I've shimmed them to where they take up the difference between the ID and the OD of my tubing by welding stripes across front and back of all of them and then hitting them with my soft sand or grinder. And so that they fit tighter and you have less slop. But there's a bracket that we have that we're waiting on that will, uh, because I wasn't able to make it when I was in Nevada. I just ran out of time. But I've got everything else. Uh, as soon as we bolt the bracket on to the front of Better Bob or Bob, because I'm getting a bracket for both of them, uh, you put out your uh, 30 feet to about here, and then it has one more, one more piece that fits inside of it that telescopes out. So that we can be eight feet back with this and have eight feet of boom out there from where we are and hopefully get too near the center of the shaft or at least to where Gly can ascend and not have to come in contact with this wall all the way down and these different colored lines are the main line is this red line it fastens to a clavis here and it runs across the top of uh, the Schnozzlator 5000's main body and goes across the top of its own pulley. And then we throw it and it's down all the way to the bottom of the mine. Then we have the belay line or safety line is this green line right here. It's fastened to a separate hook next to the main line. This goes across the top of the Schnozzlator 5000 and across the top of its own pulley and then goes down all the way to the bottom. So, at this point, this is Gly Coolness right here. You can probably tell by the shape of his head. At any rate, he has his ascending device on his climbing gear that he's fastened to on the main line. Then on the belay slash safety line, he has a 36 inch lanyard between his safety hook, which is right by his main hook on his belt, to a constant capture that goes onto the line next to him. So that if he drops at more than four meters per second, it locks. At any rate, um, this blue line then, represents the line that I have off of my winch and both of these lines come up and across the pulley and they immediately go through a constant capture device. It's a progressive capture that you can continue pulling through and every time you stop pulling through the little clampy things with the spikes in them come down and hold it. Therefore I can take my winch line and I can run it remotely and I can run it out and grab right here just this side of the progressive capture and then I can radio I'll be wearing a lanyard as well and a harness and I'll be fastened to the back side of this to where I can't fall in the hole but and and if I do fall in the hole uh, this is a not a I think it's a, not a static line. It's whichever one has a little bit of give to it. So that way I don't get hurt. Because, you know, if I were to get hurt and glides down 500 feet, he'd have a hard time crawling back out. Look at him. Look at him. He's trying to crawl out right there. And he hasn't, he hasn't moved since I started this show. At any rate, I can run this blue line out and have a capture on it that I grabbed the line. Either of them. 
and then I can radio Gly and he can radio to me and give me the go ahead two long whistles and a short don't know yet but I can stand here and I can look over the hole and I can bump my winch and pull him up and it's about two feet a second so it's relatively slow it's like 10 seconds worth of running and I've only pulled him up 20 feet which is all I want to pull him 20 feet at a time as soon as I pull this into here and, it, and it's pulled him up 20 feet, because I'll have the schnozzleator marked to where I know when I've pulled him up 20. This has already captured the line. Gly's come up 20 feet. I release this. I, I, I release the winch. Take it back out. Fasten it on. And pull him up another 20 feet. And do that again and again and again until I've gotten him up however many hundred of feet he's gone down. Um, it is worthy of note that, um, that we carry 1,800 feet of rope with us. And I don't think that we're ever going to find anything that's 1,800 feet deep to try it out on. But uh, if we do, then uh, we have the rope for it. Um, I see a lot of future uses for the Schnozzleator 5000 because, think about this, a shaft like this that doesn't have any collar built around it at all and it has no support at all, nobody's built anything in these, or if they have, then they've long ago lit fires down in them and burned it all out. It's really quite common. Um, there's nothing supporting the side walls and down below, especially if you're in like a uh, pull free materials um, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of collapse uh, but what's down here I mean seriously say it's been for most of these uh, I mean we've got Gly just told me the other day and I was playing with him I guessed a hundred but he asked me he, how many mine sites he's identified just in the area that we worked and kind of stayed last summer in Nevada, and I guessed 100, but it was 47. He's found 47, 47 places to try this, and nobody's seen in the bottom of them. So I think this is a fantastic, innovative idea. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but that's me, El Magnifico, right there. I call this this 30-foot schnozzle later 5,000. And look, it's got, like I said, a copyright pending. That's better, Bob. That's the schnozzle later 5,000 itself. Well, that was fun. Anyway, I hope that you guys might have learned something today. Like I said, I'm going to use this board, and I'm going to draw typical mine layouts and identify hundreds of mining terms. And I think I'm going to call it mining terminology and uh, I invite you to come and join me for that uh, thanks for coming along and uh, I hope you guys are having a good time out there I hope you like my show don't forget to subscribe and and like my show and uh, and tell all your friends uh, thanks a lot and take good care oh my god are you done already I mean they've been waiting out here for an hour okay come back in Gly no, come back in. I need you in here for a second. What do you need? Just a minute, guys. Come here. Sit down there. Okay, so Gly, go ahead and you do a little bit of this now. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. You're right there. You're 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 on camera, so try to act natural. Oh, try to turn your good side towards the camera, Gly. Well, oh, wait a minute. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. M. You're a great, not, you're a nice guy. Darla, go lay down. You know, my legs aren't that skinny. They're a little bit more meaty. And you didn't quite, the the area around here where the right. old where the old spare tire right. sits, Right. There, you forgot the little... The, well, this is the end of... Uh, where's the cookie belly? This is the beginning of summer. Oh, because you've been on the keto diet. Okay, so this is See, like six... I'm not the kind of guy that would publicly humiliate you. Okay. Well, right. did hey, what do you think of my dead guy? That's great. <laughs> I like it. He, he looks 
like uh, somewhat rancid. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you should have put little like snaky things or little flies around him or something. That was... Check it out. I got a, I took an eraser and put a little tiny M on my helmet. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I put a lamp on yours. It's all in the details. Yours is always on. It is, isn't it? It's always in the. It's always about the details. Right. Yes. It looks really nice. Isn't that nice? Uh huh. I know it. All right. You know what I'm gonna do when I get right about here? I'm gonna sing my favorite song. Yeah. I believe I can fly. <laughs> you know what you're gonna do when you get right down here? What's that? You're gonna be really sorry that you ever gave me any crap. Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna cut because <laughs> you're, you're gonna cut both no, lines I'm not, and I'm go. Not gonna cut, I'm gonna cut both lines, but I can ya. I can pull you up at my leisure when you stop and think about well, it. Well, that that's true. I guess I am at your mercy to a point. Yeah, but you know what? Uh huh. Uh, both of us would be insane to be to be doing this with one of us that we didn't trust. So I think we're I think we're in, I think we really got a good system here. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna work out really well. And uh, this uh, this this simplifies it to, to you know to really put it together in your head as to how it's gonna work. Well, that part right there will be here tomorrow. Nice. And uh, all we got is a couple few little things to do and some paint and some stickers and we're good to go. Right. All right. It's gonna all be right. fun. It's, I can't wait. Well, thanks for dropping in, Gly. Oh, you betcha. See you guys. Okay, thanks everybody for joining us at Abandoned and Forgotten Footage. And you got to see him yourself, Gly Coolness. Wasn't that great? Oh my. That was, that was something, wasn't it, baby? Oh are you, yeah. Are you getting flushed? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> see you later. See, see you later too. Hello. Oh uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of something. Who's this? Well, hello Netflix. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can talk. Not for very long though. Glad coolness is probably gonna come busting in through the door any second and try to ruin my show for the second time. Uh, what can I do for you? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, okay, like an upside-down explanation point, a small E and an L, then a capital M in Magnifico, and then, and then a regular explanation point after it. Like, well, you know, watch my, watch my Saturday morning show after Gly's show, and I've got a representation of exactly how you spell it. Okay. Yeah, or... Yeah, yeah... Yeah, Miss, or, or Mr. Magnificent, either one. Right. Okay, bye Netflix.